Hi everybody, this is Jamie with Katool USA and I'm going to show you a simple and quick video on how to use this wheel balancer. This is the KTB 760. The first thing you're going to want to do obviously is reach down here, flip this switch and switch on the machine. Now when you switch on the machine, this is what you should see right across the screen and then what will come up is your measurements that you previously put in from your last wheel. So after switching the machine on, you're going to want to make sure that you have the machine in the right mode for whatever scenario that you're under here. Now I'll go over these real quick. Um, so SYN is your most common uh, type of situation here. You're going to be putting clip-on weights on the inner and outer lip of this wheel. Then we have two static balance options. So static balance, you're usually just putting weights on the inside. So we have static balance one, which is you're going to be putting a clip on weight on the inner lip of the wheel. Static balance two is putting uh, a sticky type of weight on the middle of the wheel surface. Then we have these different ALU settings. Now ALU, I just in my head like to equate with aluminum wheels. It doesn't have to be all the time, but scenario number one here, ALU one, is where you would be putting uh, sticky or this could be clip on weights as well um, on the outer and inner lip of the wheel here. This is usually a case of uh, doing sticky weights that are flat like that. ALU2 is going to be your more common way of using sticky weights. This is nine times out of ten what you're going to be using on some of these newer aluminum wheels. You're going to be using a clip on weight on the inner lip and then a sticky weight on the inside so you would choose ALU2. ALUS is for when you want to get really technical. I'm going to do a separate video on this here. You can actually measure this distance and input it into the machine. That's for if you want to really 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 get technical on it. Um, if you have a customer or if you want to get really down um, you know to where you have zero vibration in a wheel or it's sensing this is the setting for you. It's kind of complicated to use, but I'm going to go over that in a separate video. And then this is an interesting setting here. The HID is when you want to hide a weight, a sticky weight, behind the spoke of a wheel. So let's say you have an aluminum wheel, five-spoke wheel, and you want to hide the weight behind a spoke, you would choose that setting. And how to change those, you have this button down here that reads ALU. And when you press that, It'll go through the different modes of balancing. So that is how you change that and that's how you get that set up for the wheel that you're doing. I've got a simple steel wheel here today so we're just going to be using the SYN function. Alright so you're going to want to put your A measurement in okay and the A measurement is where this pull ruler so you're going to pull the pull ruler out to the edge of the wheel and it's going to take that measurement for you. Pull the ruler back, and you can see there we have 9. Okay? You can also adjust that up and down with this, these two buttons here, arrow up or arrow down. Now we're going to take the B measurement, which is the width of the wheel from lip to lip. And you can adjust that by using the B arrows up or B arrow down. So you're going to use your wheel caliper that came with your machine, and you're going to go from lip to lip, or if you're using sticky weights on an aluminum wheel, you're going to go to where you're putting the weights. So lip to lip there, and we've got a measurement of about six. Now we're going to input the D measurement, which is the diameter of the wheel that you're working with here. Now, when you do measurement A with the pull ruler, it also, the machine will calculate to see what the diameter is. Nine times out of ten it's accurate, but sometimes you'll get a strange one that will uh, be just a bit off over here, and you can always adjust that with the D up or down arrows. And if you didn't know how to find the diameter of the wheel, you can look on the sidewall of the tire that you're working with, and you can find here that 
it's an R15 okay so you're gonna make sure that the value D is the diameter of the wheel that you are working with so now our machine is all set up we have all of the inputs in the machine what you're gonna do now is simply press the green start button and the tire will start to spin and as the tire spins the machine will automatically start to break and give you the readout here so what this wants is the wheel it's asking for you to put a quarter ounce on the inner lip of the rim and a half an ounce on the outer lip of the rim now I'm gonna spin this wheel over and you're gonna watch these bars the, the lights are gonna go up and down so on the outer when you have that at the outer there the 12 o'clock position those bars will go solid okay and you're gonna wanna put your weight at the 12 o'clock position now I'm gonna roll it over again and watch the inner watch that bar there the lights will line up you can see them lining up there and then they will go solid red that is where you want to put your weight at the 12 o'clock position now once you do that and get your weights all affixed to the wheel you're gonna go ahead and press the start button again and then if you've done everything correct this should come up zero and zero then your wheel is balanced you can go ahead and dismount it from the machine and you're all set if you come up with some more it wants more weight you can investigate and see where it needs more weight or if you have to move the weights that you put on i hope you enjoyed this really quick instructional video of how to operate and use the katu wheel balancer now this is our KT B760 wheel balancer, but this same instructional video and the same procedure is true for all three of our Kotul wheel balancers. I hope this was useful for you today. This is a great machine and capable of so much more, and I can't wait to show you in future videos what this machine can actually do, and the other features and little tips for not only using the machine, but maintenance and everything else. This is a great machine for not only the weekend warrior, the do-it-yourself mechanic, but also the professional garage as well. If you have any questions, my name is Jamie. I am the technical support technician for Kotul USA. You can reach me at 716-299-8852, and I'm available Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're enjoying your Kotul garage equipment. Until next time, take care.